guys, what's up, Synergy here, and uh, I'm bringing you a brand new video. This one, we actually got a challenge on our hands, guys, as you can see via my inbox here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to get into this gameplay in a second. You can see the lobby at the minute. These are my friends. They're much higher ranked than me at the minute, um, but I will end up catching them up at some stage, but... As you well know, I do all my video editing and everything, so that does take up a lot of my time as well. But I enjoy bringing it for you guys, so I hope you enjoy the videos as well at the same time. So this one, we're actually going on to Pilot Hunter. Now, the agreement in this match was basically not to be using any form of burn card. Um, you're going to see them actually break that rule, and they were actually using burn cards, whereas... You're going to see basically, yeah, here you go, just to show you, do, do, do. you can see I am not activating any burn cards whatsoever, no map pack, no satellite uplink, no nothing. Going to make it nice and fur and square, but unfortunately the team did end up using burn cards which involved stuff like that as well, because they did want to win, fur enough as any team does, but the rules were simple, not to use any sort of burn cards that will give a major like advantage over the enemy team, so you can see exactly where everybody is and stuff like that, um, so it was just more of a fur game. Um, unfortunately this team ended up dip breaking the rules on it, but we're still gonna own them so as you can see they're all actually compacted over here you're gonna see me pick up my first step okay so not a good start by me I'll admit that one and you can see the actual perks that they're using at the minute now I've only got cloak perks so this makes it a little bit more special for you guys uh, I think most of us on our team we were actually using cloak and uh, these guys were using the uh, active radar pulse and that way they were able to see where we were but only at certain intervals whenever they had it. You can see a rematch incoming so I know this guy's spawning over here. As I'm shooting that guy there's another guy in front of him who does take me out there. That's the challenger to the match. Okay, So it's basically his clan versus my clan and we're in a 4v4 scenario and it's third game mode so I kind of wanted to play attrition because I'm more of an attrition player. Uh, I can play attrition down Domination, pilot owner, whatever you want, and I can basically own at it for you guys. Uh, that's how I've been able to bring out all these videos for yeah, certain tutorials and everything like that. Example, 11 rodeo kills in one Titan game, for example. Uh, that wasn't actually last Titan standing, by the way. That was an attrition game. Um, uh, also the charge rifle critical hits, um, basically the easiest way to get those, uh, that's actually hit popularity on that video so we're almost coming up to 2530 odd subs uh, not subscribers, <laughs> I wish, uh, 2300 and odd views on that actual video as well. So people did want to know that certain thing so I'm going to be bringing out videos that people do want to see, uh, that people may struggle with and stuff like that and um, just to get back to the gameplay a little bit you can see the titans at the minute they're going to be challenging me what i'm actually using in my titan is the quad rocket what you're going to find with the quad rocket is it will deny territory it does its job this gun is insane with the unlock but i actually like it without the unlock because you can see it does a substantial substantial amount of damage and as you can see here there you go we end up taking that guy out now the reason I actually like this weapon like this in specific is because you can target multiple targets so what you can do is you know people are going to be trying to dodge those rockets so you can shift left and right and you can be firing those rockets in different directions so wherever they dodge to, they're still going to get hit at the end of the day. And then it's up to your teammates to take them out. You see me take out that guy who's actually trying to aim at one of our titans. Uh, we've got all our titans up at the minute, I think. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, we've got them all up. They've got two up at the minute, so somebody on their team isn't doing too well. And yeah, we're just going to go on the titans up for the minute. Done, done. And come on. And they've got new project to stop us from getting the pilot kills. Third play, I run straight into another new project from that one. That was absolutely awful play by me. Um, <laughs> that was just me not paying attention to the minimap at all. Um, if I turned around and seen the new project, I probably wouldn't have dashed that way. So 
Yeah, but I was trying to get away from another nuclear jack, so yeah, they're trying to pick up a few cheeky kills that way. We know they're using the active radar pulse, so what we don't want to do is we don't want to be stood around in the same place for too long, because they will get eyes on us and stuff like that. So we want to make it a nice rushing game and basically have a lot of fun just owning a team that ends up challenging us. Right, so all I'm doing here is I'm just trolling the outskirts of the map looking for anybody that's uh, sort of camping as well on their team and you can see this guy cl climbing over the wall. He wasn't actually camping so that's fair play and we're actually just going to make our way through here at the minute. Now what you'll notice in this gameplay guys is I'm not actually using the buildings in the pilot hunter because it's a clan war and everything what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be combining that as well you're going to find most of your kills that are going to be floor side and when you get titans you can just back away from them get into your titan and stuff like that and yeah just basically go on the dominating spree so um, basically if you're going on to roost and everything like that you can have people from guard towers just aiming down at you um, if you're going onto the roofs as well you can be more easily spotted it's a lot better to add a bit of confusion into it as well because if they're looking at grunts and spectres on the ground they're going to be expecting you in places like on say for example roof A there or roof B for example or they'll actually not be expecting you running through the actual middle of the map because that's where the titans are going to be so they're not going to be expecting you to sort of make that sort of move um, it's just a matter of tactics guys and team play really as you can see my and my team we're working together what we're doing is we're covering each other's backs and basically we're giving call outs for any sort of rodeos on the titans as well if there is a rodeo basically we get close to each other and we just titan punch him off it's as simple as that right so as we take out these spectres as you know in pilot hunter this makes absolutely no difference whatsoever you can see the amount of health that i've got at the minute compared to this titan and all i'm doing here is just trying to take off as much damage as i can i'm basically trying to hurt this guy and he's not even landed a single hit on me there he has he's landed a hit and we end up actually taking him out from that one even though we did have like 10 percent health right moving on there you go we kill another pilot as we come around from that one we can see another one there we kill him and third one unfortunately that actually got taken out by one of my teammates but it is a team game this one so it's one of those either we play as a team or we lose simple as that it's all to do with communications and um, these guys are very good players on my team um, uh, obviously I've got players willy-nilly that basically want to play with me and stuff like that so I do let a lot of people play with me but there are certain people that I do prefer and um, that's just mainly because we generally game with each other a lot it's not actually any sort of personal preference like oh you're black you're white uh, I got a problem with you you're gay straight by whatever anyway it's nothing to do with that it's just the good lads and they're pretty much a laugh to talk to as well and um, some of them might not do as better as others at the game but they do know what they're doing and you don't have to be the best player on titanfall in order to be able to dominate um, if you work well as a team then basically you're gonna win it's no problem um, it's it's down to skill it's about ooh, give or take a lot of it is skill to be honest with you um, but it's also just focus 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 so for all you aspiring clans out there i hope you take this advice into play obviously if you end up challenging me though um, dependent on the nature of your clan is dependent on how i pick your teams as well and yeah so it's one of those that I will always give a clan that are very very good challenge as well you can see the guy trying to rodeo me there so obviously I'm just gonna go straight back into the smoke we know they've got two titans over here so I'm just taking damage on that one and fully expecting the other titan to come behind me he doesn't actually which allows me to just plant damage 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 titan punch and he's gone into nuke jet so we're just gonna get away 
Um, uh, the good thing about Pilot Hunter and Nuke Ejector is you do not actually pick up a kill uh, unless you get, for example, the Gooses. And um, the Gooses, as you know, they are harder to get when you've got Auto Eject because it's Auto Cloak as well. Um, but it is possible to get them and it's not too hard, but you won't get them every time, so don't delude yourself into thinking that as well. So you can see basically I've hardly got any health whatsoever in this Titan at the minute. So all we're going to do here is we've got a Rodeo on us, went into the smoke, thought it was me all. We're going to eject, place two art grenades onto that so his shield stay down so he's constantly taking damage. We go onto the rodeo because he's got a shield back up and we're just going to boom. We end up in mid air and you can see him just there. Take a lot of damage off my gun there and come on. Why won't you die? <laughs> And then he actually kills me from that one, so yeah, fair play, alright, he killed me, but in all honesty, I planted so many bullets into him that he should be dead. <laughs> you can basically see it, because it's on video, guys. <laughs> Right, so that gives us the victory guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to videos, you can see me pick up a few more random kills, and all we're doing is working on the intercept point, sorry about the grey screen right at the end there, we do get a little bit of lag, and I think that might be down to my computer actually, uh, I've been trying to sort out some problems with it, if anybody knows anything about an STOSKRNL.exe, Please leave a comment in the comment box if you've had this before because I'd love to know how to fix it because I really don't want to take my PC to a repair guy because I won't be able to do my videos which is annoying so yeah, yeah. I like bringing videos for you guys so yeah don't forget like I said like comment subscribe and that's all I've really got to say guys enjoy your day